friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I track macros and calories. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, it is post Thanksgiving and it is grocery haul day. So if you're excited to see what I picked up for the week, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I've lost the majority of my weight and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and don't forget, comment over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump in to the grocery haul, what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here is my grocery haul for the week. Mainly I grabbed a few things for Troy because I head to New York on next Thursday, December 1st. So I just needed a few things for some dinners, my meal prep for the week, and then some stuff for Troy to eat while I'm gone. So let's jump into the grocery haul. So the first thing I picked up was a lot of frozen pizzas. He requested those. It's really easy for him to have for lunch or dinner. So the great value thin crust pepperoni. These are $4 a piece and these pizzas are actually really good. He usually zhuzhes them up with a little bit more toppings and cheese, but for $4, you can't beat it and then I grabbed him a thin crust supreme and then the Sam's Choice pizzas these ones are amazing these ones are six dollars a piece they are so good we love thin crust pizza you're only going to see thin crust but I did get him a supreme and then this one is really good this is the four meat and then I grabbed him one of his little fruit and cheese bite trays he really likes to have these as a quick easy snack and I thought he could munch on these while I'm gone and then I grabbed this one for me I think this is maybe a portion of my lunch lunch or my lunch today. This is a mini meal. It's 370 calories, 10 grams of protein. It was on sale for $2 and 20 cents. And basically it's almonds and cranberries, grapes and apples, cheese crackers, and then a Ghirardelli dark chocolate. I will not eat the chocolate. Uh, so that'll save me some calories and some points, but I thought this would be a quick, easy lunch for me and you can't beat it for $2 and 20 cents. I did grab a couple of the Oikos protein yogurts just for that added punch of protein. I grabbed a vanilla and then I really, really like the strawberry. I like to add some extra fruit to these, like some blueberries or some blackberries, but they're really good and they have 20 grams of protein. I needed some brown sugar. I'm going to be doing a lot of baking this holiday season. I have lots of parties and things to go to, so I restocked my brown sugar. Diet Coke for Troy, as always. Daisy Light Sour Cream, because we are out of sour cream and this is just something we always have on hand. I grabbed a pound of ground chicken. This is for my meal prep, so stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in next Monday's meal prep. I mentioned in my last grocery haul that I could not find the sugar-free jello pudding. Well, they finally had it. I use this for my protein pudding. I've been getting a lot of questions on protein pudding. I will link the video that I shared the recipe in and I plan on actually doing an entire protein pudding video. So that will be coming on my channel in December. Big bag of apples. I'm making a apple crisp in my meal prep and then I picked it up an extra apple for myself. I've really been loving an apple and some American Dream Nut Butter. I grabbed this because I thought this would be an easy vegetable side for me and this is a frozen root blend. So it has beets, carrots, parsnips, and sweet potatoes. And I love all of those things. So I thought I could throw these on a sheet pan, season them up with some olive oil and pop them in the oven. And that'll just be a quick and easy side dish. I also grabbed a huge pack of stew meat. I'm going to make crock pot beef stew this week. That way Troy will have that for leftovers when I'm gone. Some flour for baking. I am completely out of flour. I also needed some beef broth for a dinner recipe. And the kettle and fire was I think $2 or $2.50 with the coupon. So it's a really good deal. This is 100% grass fed, no preservative, beef broth, really nice clean ingredients. And then of course, I picked up my flour that I discovered a few weeks ago that I am loving. This is the Kodiak Protein Packed Power 
flour. There's 10 grams of protein per serving. A serving is a quarter cup, so it's the same amount as traditional flour, but you're going to get 10 grams of protein and it's only two points for a quarter cup instead of three. I find this at Walmart in the same aisle as the regular flours. I love it. It tastes just like regular flour, but you get that big punch of protein. And I grabbed a huge box of mini candy canes. This is my favorite thing that comes out at the holidays. I have to have them the entire holiday season, and this is a big hundred count box. I grabbed two pounds of 93% extra lean ground beef. We were completely out of ground beef in our freezer, and I need ground beef for a few recipes. Bag of frozen corn, this is for the beef stew. I also picked up some baby carrots for the stew, a couple of bell peppers for the stew as well. It's going to be really packed with a lot of vegetables, potatoes. I have an orange bell pepper and a red bell pepper, and then some green onions. So I just put away my groceries and we just got a delivery and I had ordered some more home decor. So I thought, why not throw a little home decor haul in today's video? You guys know my love for Good Pick. I own so many products from them. My little shelves in my dining room, my saran wrap, aluminum foil organizer, my drawer organizer in my kitchen. I just really love the brand. They make such high quality products for super affordable prices. And I've been looking for some little kind of rattan or burlap type of baskets that I can put some faux foliage in and hang them on the wall. I just wanted something that gave that warm aesthetic and I love adding greenery. I think it just brightens up a room without adding a lot of color. So I found these amazing rattan baskets that hang on the wall. So these are the Good Pick two pack jute hanging baskets. They're kind of a boho style. They're 7.87 by seven by 11.7 inches. Right now they are on an amazing deal for Cyber Monday. They are $16.79 for both of them on Amazon. So I'll make sure that I link them down below for you. That is the lowest price in the last year for the hanging baskets. Each basket has a handle, so it's really easy to hang on the wall. You can store anything in these baskets. I decided to add some green foliage to them, but you really could use them for storage of anything in a bathroom, living room, or even next to your bed. They have a nice leather handle and a jute basket organizer. When you receive the baskets, just take note that they are folded, but you will immediately just pop them into their shape and it instantly smooths the creases. So I decided to go ahead and just put these on our TV stand to add some greenery. We didn't have anything in that space and we went back and forth between hanging them on the wall or putting them on the TV stand and ended up deciding to put them on the TV stand. So again, I will link the Good Pick set of two jute baskets with leather handles, $16.79 on Amazon down below for you. So here's what is on my menu for the week. Today we're heading out to dinner. Tomorrow we're going to have Thanksgiving leftovers. On Monday, I'm going to make a sweet potato shepherd's pie. So stay tuned for this recipe in my Wednesdays What I Eat in a Day. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. Tuesdays, we're gonna do leftovers. Wednesday, I am doing crock pot beef stew because on Thursday, I actually head to New York for about five days. So I figured Troy could have the frozen pizzas and the beef stew while I'm gone. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm actually making a pecan pumpkin coffee cake. I'm so excited for this. Lunch, I'm doing teriyaki meatballs. Also very excited for this. And then for dessert, I'm gonna do a slow cooker apple crumble. That way Troy can eat that as well while I'm in New York. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up for the week, what I'm planning on for dinners this week before I head out for my trip, and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss meal prep or any of the other videos that I upload every single week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Jingle bells ring.